what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel once again my name is dash lifestyle kindly if you're watching me for the first time remember to subscribe like share and also comment for my returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and watching my video to my jamaican family wagwan so guys uh, today it is a beautiful day and uh, from the title of this video today we are going to see which are these two countries that are uh, they are speaking like Jamaicans. Is it Patua language? Are they speaking Patua language? I've decided to dig, dig to have some more research. Why are these two countries trying to speak like uh, Jamaica? Or what is the type of language uh, are they speaking? So I've done some much more uh, research and uh, this is some of the research that I've come to tell you uh, about the uh, history of why are they speaking like Jamaican or are they trying to copy Jamaica or is it their uh, type of language even them it is somehow similar with Jamaican's patois. So I'm going to tell you about these two countries first of all their history and then we can come and uh, try to see me to see some similarities between their language and patois language first of all guys we have these two countries uh the one it is belize and the one another one it is san andres so san andres it is a small highland in colombia so it is particularly belong to colombia and uh, we have belize so these two countries are uh, if you are keen and seeing uh, some of the some of the people who lives in Belize or Sandra speaking, it may seems like uh, they are speaking like Patwa language from uh, Jamaica. You know, so many people they are saying they are speaking uh, Patwa language because you know Patwa language it is known worldwide. And uh, right now people they have come to realize that uh, Belize and San Andres they are speaking like Patwa language. But what Be Belize and San Andres they are speaking, it is the language called Creole. So this is Creole, it is somehow similar uh, with uh, Patois language. So first of all, uh, listen to these uh, people. I'm going to start with the Belize, how the Belize speak uh, Creole, in which it is similar, slightly uh, the same with Patois language. So see this video, and then I'm going to play a video from San Andres uh, people who are speaking like a uh, Jamaican language. We're going on. Just some local talk to my girls. You all right? Talk about Belize. Oh, Belize is very nice. You all have to come here and you will enjoy yourself. Well, I understand all that, bro. You're supposed to speak in, in Creole. How you want to talk? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> I just kind of pass up and down the place. I turn on your ass. <laughs> That's a proper way to say it, right? Say, so, my grandma used to tell me when I used to get in trouble when I'm small too. She never used to say nothing, right? Nothing apart from you wait for a living of our club. What? For a living of our club, no hard to catch. I went in at the car and I go, come oh, in. She ain't gonna beat my ass when I sleep middle of the night. This is the Fui language, and you better believe it. This is how I grew up, this is how I know how to talk, and the first thing I ever know in my life. Make we start. We are start with one little bit of education. Like I know this family you are because my granny tell me many things, you know. Granny used to love to tell me. What's your name? Shelian de Avila de Arte. Okay, and where are you from? I'm from San Andres um, and I'm representing my department, San Andres Providence and St. Kathleen. And uh, I can't hear you very well because I'm slightly deaf in this ear. Um, so, why do you speak English natively? Okay, well, in San Andres we speak English and we speak Creole English. So, I, I mix sometimes the two languages and I have the facility to speak both very of them. Easy, because normally they believe that we are tourists, you know, so they are, Ay, so you can talk Creole too, where are you from? You sound like Jamaican. <laughs> That's what they tell us all the time. So uh, we're like, no, we are from Colombia. We are from a, an island that is belong to Colombia, but is in the Caribbean, and we talk Creole, English, and Spanish. It's the same, just like here with them. We are from San Andres Island, Colombia. It's one archipelago, make up, make up a three islands. So it's San Andres, Old Providence, and Catalina. 
So uh, we are like one little small island. We are part of Colombia, but we are very, very far from Colombia. We feel like no, no, nobody no know we. They don't know which part we did or no. We got Creole too. Um, so we. If you think about all these little islands with these big personalities and big cultures, and yes, yes, Jamaica is the best. <laughs> So guys, let me start with Belize. Why are Belize speak like uh, Jamaica? Or what it is the, why is it Creole uh, similar, the language it is similar with uh, Jamaican Patois? So I've decided to deep inside and to see the history and the origin of Creole language. You know in Belize they speak Creole language and Creole language it is somehow similar with Jamaican Patois language. So this is now the the origin of Creole language in Belize. So Belize speak Creole language. The history of Creole, Creole were formed by the languages previously spoken by Africans enslaved in the America and India Ocean ancestry. So guys, you can see this Creole language. It also formed by uh, languages from Africa and also America. So even you can see even in Patois language, it is uh, purely formed by some different uh, languages in Africa. Most of most of Patois it is from West Africa. But here, even here in Belize, you can see this Creole. It is somewhat similar uh, with uh, Patois. It is because even uh, uh, some we have some different uh, African languages in Creole language, and also in the mix of uh, American and. Uh, Africa, now you will get a uh, Creole language. Belizean Creoles are primarily mixed race descendants of enslaved West and Central Africa who were brought to the British Honduras, in bracket, present day Belize along the Bay of Honduras, as well as English and Scottish log cutters known as the Baymen who trafficked them. So guys, you can see even this Creole language, uh, Africans are part of each. And uh, you can see even West and Central African people, they are involved of uh, making this Creole language. So let me just go deep and see which part of Africa uh, did Creole uh, language came from. Over time, both Africans and Europeans communicated in some form of Creole. People of Angola and West Central Africa develop Angola, Creole Portuguese, a language still spoken by descendants of Maroons, slave who escaped from Portuguese plantation on Sayo Tome beginning in the mid 16th century. So this Creole came from West Africa and also Angola. Uh, they are the major people who uh, came with a uh, Creole language in Belize. And uh, these uh, Africans, they were enslaved. And also you can see even the Maroons. You know, we have Maroons uh, from Jamaica. And also you can see we have Maroons in, in Belize. And both of them, they participated to bring the uh, language. But in Jamaica, they brought uh, the change to Patois language. Uh, in Belize, it is now known as uh, Creole language. And the language, it is still uh, spoken uh, in Belize by the descendant of Maroons. So Maroons, they were slaved uh, working for Portuguese, but they escaped uh, working from uh, Portuguese plantation. And we can see this most of uh, Africans who brought this uh, Creole language, which it is familiar with uh, Patois language. They were from Angola and West Africans. Yeah. And also, guys, I want to see if Belize and Jamaica, they have uh, a connection maybe uh, during slavery uh, to see if uh, is, is there any Jamaicans uh, slaves who were brought in Belize during the slavery time and that's why it spread to this similar uh, language of uh, Creole and uh, Patois language. We want to see if uh, uh, is either Jamaica slavery were brought in Belize or Belize slavery were brought in Jamaica, some of them, but uh, you know some uh, uh, the major Africans who were in Jamaica, they were brought from West Africa. And uh, let's see in Belize if we have some more Africans who were 
brought in Jamaica uh, who came from Jamaica to Belize. So the distance between Belize and Jamaica is 1,124 kilometers. Some African slaves were shipped to Belize from Jamaica after they had forcibly been brought over across Atlantic. So guys, this is one of the reasons why uh, Belize people are speaking like Jamaica or they are speaking Creole uh, the same language with uh, Jamaica because some Africans were shipped from Jamaica to Belize forcibly African population in Belize most Belize are multiracial descent about 43% of the population is of mixed Mayan and European descent 29% are of African and Afro-European. So guys, you can see in Belize, uh, Africans, they are 29% of African and Afro-European. Uh, so guys, let's go and see about San Andres. Even San Andres, they are speaking uh, like uh, Jamaican. So let's uh, dip inside and we see how comes uh, San Andres they are speaking like Jamaica. What is the history behind of the language which they are speaking uh, like a uh, Patois language in Jamaica. And also you can remember San Andres, it is a small island, uh, but it is part of Colombia. The, the Colombia took over in charge of uh, San Andres Highland. So San Andres, it is part of Colombia. Historically, San Andres is more related to England. English settlers settled on the island from the 17th century, bringing with them the slave from Jamaica. They grew cotton, tobacco, and coconut. Also, guys, you can see uh, the English settler settled in San Andres uh, in 17th century, bringing with them slave from Jamaica uh, to grow cotton, coconut, and tobacco. So you can see even San Andres, it has a uh, uh, history with Jamaica, small history with Jamaica, because you can see the English settlers, they brought uh, some slaves from Jamaica to the highland to grow coconut and tobacco. And also, let's try to dig inside the history of San Andres. The English Puritans colonized San Andres. The English Puritans arrived to the island they hailed from Barbados and also from England. Between 1627 and 1629, they came to settle in the salubrious climate and take advantage of the fertile land of the island. The Puritans evicted the Dutch settler in 1631. Some settlers also came from Wales. So guys, you can see that's a small history of San Andres with the uh, Jamaicans and also you can see uh, Belize also it had some slave from Jamaica so you can see the major uh, the major contribution of the Creole language in both San Andres and uh, Belize it is because they had some slave from Jamaica you know San Andres it is not far away from Jamaica also uh, both of them they are in Caribbean Sea both Belize and San Andres they are in Caribbean Sea so uh, both of them they are not far away and that's why you can see even they had some slave from Jamaica I believe they had some slave from Jamaica also uh, San Andres it had some slave from Jamaica so due to that some slave from Jamaica now they brought this uh, language Patwa language in their countries but in their country it is not Patwa language it is Creole language so it is it is not, uh, it, it doesn't have a uh, different from Patwa language. Yes. Let's go and see some similarities between Patwa language and Creole language in both Belize and San Andres. Jamaica use Patwa language and both Belize and San Andres Highland in Colombia use Creole language. Creole and Patwa are two different languages spoken especially in Caribbean. Creole language spoken in San Andres, Colombia, and Belize. Patois is spoken in Jamaica. Landed in these two countries due to the rival African slave. So you can see in both two countries, uh, Patois and Creole, they land in the countries because of African slavery. 
Yeah, both of them they were brought with African during the African slavery, both Creole and Patois language. Only Creole is considered as an official language, but Patois is not. Both are quite popular language in their region. So you can see both Creole and Patois language, they are uh, popularly uh, languages in their region. But uh, for me, I can say Patois language, it is now the most uh, language, the most unpopular language, not only in Jamaica, also worldwide, but uh, Creole language, it is not uh, popular as uh, Jamaican Patois language. So guys, I hope you have learned something and uh, kindly kindly guys like this video so that youtube it can recommend this video to a lot of people so that uh, they can know and learn more about uh, the history of creole language and also the history of patua language so uh, subscribe if you haven't also uh, one more time like the video i insist because uh, if you like this video according to the youtube algorithm it will spread this video to so many people so that uh, they can watch and learn and uh, know more about uh, Patwa language and Creole language. So guys, thank you so much for the love and support. See you on my next video. Bye bye. Wagwan, wagwan to my Jamaican people and also to my all Caribbean countries. Wagwan, thank you so much.